Well, let's talk about a couple things I want to do today. <clears throat> I'm going to try to disassemble this spark plug, right? The reason why I'm doing this, I need to make a, um, oh, I need to have an attachment, find and make an attachment that I can smoke test and pressure test a small engine. Now I, I'm not a machinist, I wish I was, I wish I had the hardware, but what I would do would just make this, you know. So I try to get this from the um, store, and uh, it almost fits, it's a quarter inch here, and uh, I think, I don't know if it's three eighths or something like that, but either way, right, I got it from the uh, gas, uh, you know, plumbing supply store. And the problem with this is that all these things are American standard. They're not uh, metric. This spark plug thread pitch here is metric. That's metric. This is American standard. Now, if they fit close, you know, you can, you can get this screwed in, but then it kind of, uh, you can feel it starting to get a little weird. So, this is the kind of hose, this is the exact hose, I'm sorry, I need to put on top of this. Now you can see it fits really nicely here. This is for my smoke test machine. Now I want to do the same thing. I thought maybe if I can take the inner electrode out of a spark plug, I can probably like just kind of like do something like this. I don't know. Let's see. So let's try to disassemble the spark plug. Now spark plugs in general, uh, all this is like pressure fitted. And this is the inner, this is the inner um, electrode. I want to try to get this out. So I don't know how it's possible and maintain and keep this in place, this uh, porcelain. If that doesn't work, right, my other plan of action will be just try to like get this out as much as I can and then maybe like glue that on top. If I had a welder, I'd just weld it, but I can't. I don't have a welder. So let's just try and see what we can do. So I believe this top part of the electrode is uh, probably just screwed on. Maybe we can just unscrew this part. It definitely spins. To the inside of that. Looks like that might come out, but I'm not sure which direction. Be downwards. I think we should cut that off. It's a tab at the top. I wonder if we can just kind of tap it, tap it out, you know? It's kind of curious. That's pretty small.
So I know that this is electro welded into uh, onto the, uh, the bottom part there. Just not really sure how tight of a fit this is. Hit it a couple more times. Yeah, no, it's not moving. I don't want to damage the porcelain. Something collapsed. Now let me heat this up and see what we can get. Maybe try tapping on this side. Let's see what happens. Yep, that's going down. Okay, that might be the way to go. It looks like this center part here wants to move. Maybe it'll... Uh, so there's a center electrode. That, that moved, so that might slide right out. We just need a little passage. If we can get a passage then oh yeah that's moving okay, so it shattered a little bit of the porcelain that was in the middle okay so that's good that's a good sign maybe we can pull that out Again, I don't want to damage the porcelain because I'm going to use that to uh, Whew, that was easy. Right, prepared for war. So yeah, that's the inner part of the uh, spark, spark plug, the inner electro inner electrode. Okay, so that was pretty easy to come out. So that's good. Now we have, you can see, there's a hollow. You can see all the way through. We have perfectly fine open chamber now. We can attach smoke and pressure to and conduct the test. Let me just clean this off and we'll call it a quick.
So we got to seal seal this up a little bit, all right? So we're going to use an uh, old bicycle tire. Hopefully, the parts where we cut is not the part with the holes. <laughs> that would be a little whatever reason why this tire failed, right? We don't want to don't want that to be the reason why our smoke test fails. So I'm just going to try to eyeball it. You just seal that part, right? And then, uh, this side over here. I'm just gonna make a hole. Try to squeeze the bolt through those. Just so that X would ensure a nice. Okay, all right. So that should work. Yeah, there's a hole there. There's a hole there. All right. Let's uh, kind of button it back up together, and then we'll uh, test. Just got to do a little bit of a. Hanging the, <laughs> the line all the way around, so that's what it looks like. A little bit of air, it's kind of pushes the smoke. All right, so now the line's all full. All right, let's go put this back on. It's not exactly the nicest of odors. It's mineral spirits. I'm using cutting board oil. Sorry, cutting. Board Describe it to uh, generate smoke. This is what I'm using. Works really well. It's not mineral spirits, just to remember. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Let's see what we got. I'm thinking that this is not getting any air to the, uh, I don't know what it is. So you know, any smoke, what's happening is this is so pressurized right now, that smoke can't even get to it, so, I mean, that's a good sign, you know? Yeah, there's no smoke getting into the engine. I'm sorry, there's no smoke escaping from this. So, this indicates to me we've got a, a good seal.
All right, I'm happy with what I see. So again, we're checking the uh, crankcase. Now remember, the, the piston is a bottom set, bottom dead center. So it's at the very, very bottom, because I need to check and see if I'm getting any leakage from, bottom, from here, the bottom of the cylinder. Now the reason why it's important to check that, because it needs this impulse to keep fuel coming in. Right, so this is a good sign right here that this is uh, nice and sealed. We're not getting any leakage. Yeah, okay, so we got a good. Actually, want to conduct a test. I'm gonna just want to verify something, right? Let's take the uh, let's take the muffler off. Same test, smoke test that is, just to see if what we saw was a really good seal. So I took that off on the muffler side. You can see uh, there's all the smoke coming out. That's the only location the smoke's coming out. So I'm pretty sure we get ourselves a good seal. Yep, that's the only place. Okay, I just want to double check and make sure that the, uh, we weren't getting any false positives. And that, that was sealed properly and that was sealed properly. Okay, we did a good job.